are LeBron James causing a stir on social media by le and other places by leaving the court early, five minutes early, throwing a blowout loss to the Phoenix Suns. Player on this team with the Phoenix Suns is... There goes LeBron walking off the floor. In today's video, we're going to discuss Ben Simmons and the news about his recent trade and whether or not this could be the end for him. Along with this, we'll also delve into LeBron James and how he has been reacting to people saying he'll quit. We all know this isn't the first time this has happened with LeBron. He's quite notorious for walking out for taking defeat very poorly and on this occasion was no exception. Many fans took to social media and Twitter to air their frustration with the NBA star and his poor behavior. If that sounds interesting, then make sure to stick around until the end of the video to find out all the details. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss out on any of the new videos that we post. Ben Simmons trade news. Could this be the end for him? But I was told today that Ben Simmons' agent, Rich Paul, with Clutch Sports met with Sixers president Daryl Morey, their general manager. On Thursday, the ongoing speculation about Ben Simmons' future took a dramatic turn with the claim that up to 12 NBA clubs would be interested in trading for the Australian. Another huge story from the NBA yesterday, an update as Woj reported that Sixers management and Simmons agent Rich Paul have begun discussing the player's future. Following his disappearance in Philadelphia's shocking Game 7 loss to the Atlanta Hawks in the NBA playoffs, speculation quickly turned to where Ben Simmons might be by the start of the 2021-2022 NBA season, especially after teammate Joel Embiid and coach Doc Rivers appeared to dismiss him following their elimination. NBA veteran Magic Johnson ordered the 24-year-old to leave Philadelphia earlier this week, and other reports have stated the team relationship with its star point guard is irreparably destroyed because of his aversion to shooting the ball you all know he can't shoot you all know he don't look to shoot in the fourth quarter you know he's afraid to go to the foul line he doesn't want to be humiliated the australian has been forced to sit out crucial fourth quarter plays against atlanta which is not something you want from your second best player however his worth has plummeted so far from a year ago that a deal that benefits philly is unlikely forcing the organization to focus on deconstructing and reconstructing their former first overall pick while Simmons had a dreadful postseason, finishing with the lowest free throw percentage in NBA history, his regular season was significantly better, and he even showed occasional glimpses that he was starting to put it all together. Simmons was adamant this season that he should win the NBA Defensive Player of the Year over Gobert, but Gobert took the award with Simmons finishing second. However, two significant incidents in the last few days have prompted some Jazz supporters to demand Simmons' inclusion on the roster. This has gotten so bad with his issues on the other end of the floor offensively. It's the first time since he's been there that all those other things don't outweigh this anymore. First, the Jazz were knocked out of the playoffs last week in a heartbreaking Game 6 defeat to Los Angeles Clippers, in which Utah was unable to defend the perimeter or match the Clippers' small ball defense. More on the second point throughout his career, Simmons has been renowned for three things. His rarity as a 6'11 point guard, his defense, and his poor shooting. Against the Hawks, he pushed it to a whole new level on the last point. He only tried three shots in the fourth quarters of all seven games combined and none in the final hour, but he made them all. He also hit just 15 from the 40 from the free throw line with the Hawks purposely fouling him on a frequent basis. With 3 minutes and 29 seconds remaining on Sunday and the 76ers down 88-86, the frosting on the cake arrived. Simmons had a wide open dunk opportunity that would have nodded the game, but he threw the ball to Mitzis Thibault, who was fouled himself. However, ESPN's Brian Windhorst reported on Thursday that rival teams are interested in the number one overall choice. In talking to executives around the league, there's a lot of interest in Ben Simmons, he said. If he was made available on the market today, there would be maybe up to a dozen teams making offers offers. Before he becomes an unrestricted free agent in 2025, Simmons is still in the middle of a contract that will pay him another $180 million. Simmons' reputation has suffered a damage as a result of the 2021 playoffs, according to senior ESPN reporter Zach Lowe, and it's almost a guarantee he'll be traded by Philly in the offseason. He stated in the 2018 playoffs he wasn't good enough. In the 2019 playoffs, he wasn't good enough. In 2020, he gets injured. This year, he's even worse. The bottom line is the only time the Sixers looked like a real championship threat was when Jimmy Butler was there for that one season, and they pushed Toronto to the limit in the Kyrie Leonard shot game. They haven't looked that way since. Ben Simmons does a a lot of great things, but offensively, he just disappeared. LeBron James reacts to people saying he'll quit. Another player on this team with the Phoenix Suns is... 
There goes LeBron walking off the floor. During the Lakers' loss to the Suns on Tuesday night, LeBron James made an ugly move. LeBron James got up and went to the locker room with over six minutes left. On Tuesday, the Phoenix Suns dominated the Los Angeles Lakers. The Lakers were missing Anthony Davis, but they still possessed LeBron James, largely regarded as the finest player in the game today. It didn't make a difference. In the 115 over 85 thrashing, James led the Lakers with 24 points, though he presumably thinks the score was 105 to 73 because it was the score when he turned his back on his team. He made a short remark after the game. We got our ass kicked. It's that simple, James said. They did whatever they wanted to win this game. Many people have lots to say about this, as you can imagine. Many were furious that he would do that to his teammates. Skip Bayless, an American sports columnist, took to Twitter and wrote, Here we go again. The drama king leaves the bench with 5 minutes and 40 seconds left in this blow and walks quickly up to the tunnel to the locker room. Guess he doesn't want to sit through the rest of this embarrassment like his teammates have to. Guess he doesn't want to be associated with this shame. User Ben McDonald Donald, a baseball coach, wrote on Twitter, This is how I will always remember LeBron James. He's a quitter. We have seen this too many times. Always his team until they lose, then he disappears, pouts, sits at the end of the bench. Youngsters out there, this is not how you handle defeat. Quitting is the easiest thing to do. Big Cat from Barstool shared his thoughts on Twitter. What's the argument for LeBron leaving the bench early? I'm not making this some big MJ versus LeBron thing or an indictment on his legacy. I'm just curious if there's anyone that thinks it's normal that he doesn't look like a complete idiot to his team teammates at that moment. LeBron was even called out by one of his own teammates when they were both part of the Miami Heat. He spoke about a specific event where the Miami Heat lost to the Dallas Mavericks in the 2018 NBA Finals. I can't get over the fact that he didn't show up in Dallas. How said, according to the Sporting News, not only because I was on the team, but the fact that he was the best player and everyone is dependent on him to show up and do what he does. And he was MIA. He had a bad series. Jordan never had that. People killed James Harden for having a bad series last year. But are you going to say to somebody who quit the finals at the end of everything when all the marbles are on the table that he's the greatest of all time? I can't buy it. Although this was seriously scrutinized by many, this wasn't the first time he has been labeled as a quitter. James entered the locker room before the game concluded in Game 3 of the NBA Finals last year. His team was, of course, losing. If his team was ahead, he wouldn't have done it. There were barely 9.7 seconds left in the game. According to US Today, when asked if he was frustrated or if he had simply lost track of time, he said both. The Golden State Warriors swept James's Cleveland Cavaliers in 2018. Steven Jackson, a former NBA player, chastised James for quitting and making excuses during the series. After a difficult Game 1 loss, James allegedly smashed a whiteboard, injuring his hand. That didn't hold water with Jackson. He walked away. According to Yahoo Sports, Jackson remarked in 2018 that he understood he was up against a better club. After Game 1, he realized he'd been defeated. To that point, bruh, his hands has nothing to do with it. They were carried away. 4-0, he continued. I think his heart was questioned. I don't know if he punched his heart against the whiteboard because at times it looked like his heart was hurt. He wasn't competing, wasn't given the same energy as we see from LeBron. And there you have it. Everything you need to know about Ben Simmons and the recent game that may decide its future in the NBA world. Along with this, LeBron James and its recent walkout that has many fans and professionals upset. It's clear to see that LeBron struggles to admit defeat and will often walk out or leave his teammates hanging and embarrassed. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe so you never miss out on any of our new and upcoming content. Thanks for watching.